In this video, I'm going to show how to select, copy, cut, and paste data tables in Notepad++. Notepad++ is a popular editor primarily for programming on the Windows platform. So let's start with the There's basically two ways to do this. I'm going to start by using Alt mouse cursor drag. So Alt is a key on the Windows keyboard, so you hold down Alt. You select where you want to start, and you can see it is selecting a rectangle. So let's start by copying, which I'll do Control C, and then I will put it here, and I'm going to just for fun put it out here. I will now paste with Control V, and you see it pastes the actual rectangle. I can undo that with Control Z, and now let's do this again. For fun, I'm going to start a little bit ahead of this, and I will do again hold down the Alt key and select a rectangular region here and this time I'm going to cut it with Control X there we go and we'll go down here and now I'll paste it with Control V you can see the basic idea now this didn't actually do exactly what I wanted so that's part of the issues it's not a perfect mechanism here so I've cut and pasted it using the alt mouse cursor drag. This also works according to reports in Visual Studio, LibreOffice Writer, which is a Microsoft Word clone, and some other editors. So alt mouse cursor drag often works. Notepad++ also supports a strictly key way of doing this with shift alt arrow key. So I hold down shift and alt and here we go. You can see it's selecting a rectangular region. I go down here and we'll go out here and then we'll do control C to copy and we will see if we can stick it back here control V to paste and there the rectangle came in here so note that these rectangular regions could be anything but what I'm focused on is the data tables which in these days of data science and the ever-expanding invocation of data as an excuse for doing anything you want to and more seriously, actual real data analysis. A lot of times that data is in columnar tables like this that are separated by spaces or tabs or commas or various symbols. And so the normal select, this select for example, would select not only the table, but enclosing text and other random content that we don't want. You only really want the data and you want to be able to cut and paste it to different parts of the uh, text document and also you can cut and paste it uh, I've copied it and I'm going to go down here and we'll just randomly put it in a place just to show it again and I'll take it out here to show the feature and it may overwrite the other stuff yes yeah, you notice what happened here it actually puts the rectangle back in over the stuff there so let's undo that and occasionally we might want to do that probably more often we want to do something like this uh, which we want to do that. There we go. Okay, so again, that's how to select, copy, cut, and paste data tables in Notepad++, a popular programming editor for Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows. You can use either put to hold down the Alt key and drag the mouse cursor, or you can use Shift Alt arrow keys. Uh, this is a Stack Overflow post on various ways to select columns, which can be used for data tables in various popular editors like Atom, uh, Notepad++, Kate, Vim, Sublime, TextPad, and a number of others. This concludes this video presentation. If you like this video, please click like. Please click subscribe and the notification bell if you would like to receive more content from us. You can avoid internet censorship by subscribing directly to our RSS news feed. Please consider sharing the link by email and on your website or blog, in addition to liking, upvoting, or sharing on increasingly censored, advertising beholden, big company social media. We have encountered such censorship. Mathematical software is developing algorithms and software to automate data analysis reducing the risks of costly errors and increasing the predictive power of the results. You can support our work financially by subscribing on our Patreon page, https colon slash slash 
www.patreon.com mathsoft or scanning the QR code in the lower right corner.